humans could one day live in igloos on Mars. According to a set of radical new designs, the inflatable ice homes will make use of ice from beneath Mars' surface to shield people from space radiation. It would allow future colonists to make use of the red planet's natural resources without having to send material from Earth. Last month, research revealed that beneath one region of Mars lies frozen about as much water as what's in Lake Superior, the largest of the Great Lakes. Intense space radiation is a significant problem for health on long-duration space missions to Mars, which is why the Mars Ice Home incorporates a shield into its design. The pods would include areas for work, sleep, recreation, food preparation and even a greenhouse. Each pod is designed for a crew of four. The cabins would be have air pressure of 14.7 pounds per square inch with a comfortable temperature of 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Kevin Kempton of NASA's Langley Research Center and Ice Home Principal Investigator told Space.com, Many of the 3D printed structures made from regolith look great, but they would not hold pressure very well, Mr. Kempton told Space.com, adding you will not be able to get around the fact that on Mars you will be living in a pressure vessel and the shapes they take are pretty limiting for designers. Water eyes would be used to fill translucent pockets around the outside of the cabins while a cellular layer of carbon dioxide obtained from the Martian atmosphere would be used to insulate the inside of the habitat from the ice. The translucent ice would allow natural light to shine through so that the inhabitants would not be stuck in the dark. A thicker layer at the top of the pond would provide protection where the incoming radiation is at its strongest. The idea is that the ice home will form just one component of a larger human outpost on the red planet. The design is said to be cost-effective as it makes use of ice from the Martian landscape rather than heavy materials having to be transported from Earth. The concept was developed by a design group including the Clouds Architecture Office and Space Exploration Architecture Team and NASA personnel. Last year, the team won NASA's 3D Printed Habitat Challenge design competition with its ice house design. The brief was to develop architectural concepts that take advantage of the 3D printing techniques and inside a Martian resources to build a home. The proposal uses a lander as the basis of the shelter, containing both private and communal interior spaces. Once in place, an inflatable membrane is used to create an interstitial environment between the outside of the capsule and the Mars atmosphere. Rovers would then extract water from the ice below the surface and apply it to form a protective skin on the inside of the inflatable environment.